Welcome guys to Other Games TV and we're gonna check out the loop dungeon over here. Now this it's not fully idle, so basically you're just going to need to go upgrade your heroes over here in the dungeon and obviously go offline. So here it is, you're going to be able to put in the fight up to 5 heroes that you're going to be able to find. Uh, obviously you didn't find them all, quite quite a huge variety of heroes and depending on which one do you like and obviously depending on their powers and so on, you're going to be able to put them in your party. Now, here it is, if you're going to go on the hero, as you can see, you're going to have a lot of equipment that you can put on him. Now, depending on what his level is, you're going to see that different kind of equipment requires him different kind of requirements, basically strength and so on. So, you do want to watch out for that and you do want that upgraded quite a lot. Now, in order for you to do that, you're just going to need to go offline, afterwards come back and so on. The game does everything. The main idea and the first thing that I do want to mention is this guy. So, go in the settings part on the top of the screen on the left corner and go for the automation over here and decrease everything in game settings pvp battle offline wait time five minutes act boss offline wait time five minutes put everything on five minutes the lowest that you can in order for your game to go even faster when you're going to be offline now when you're going to come back you're going to see that you're going to have a lot of items in your uh, backpack basically so you're going to need to click it and see which specific hero needs that specific gear and you're just going to need to put them on the specific hero if not you're going to take them and trash it basically and you're going to get different kind of runes that you're going to be able to do upgrades further on in the game now at first don't bother just play with the game a bit in order for you to see which heroes are you're going to use and afterwards try to basically put in your back in your pack uh, the same heroes that uh, you already used in order for you to make them uh, make to them sorry some permanent upgrades now if you're going to want to do some permanent upgrades you're going to need to reset the game progress a bit now how you're going to do that you're going to go to the moon sign over here and here it is the goddess of time and you're going to reset your progress now right now i'm not going to do that but here is where you're going to be able to do that a lot of passes you're going to be able to put some real money in the game obviously didn't play it that much but let's hope that you're going to play it even further and so on the game is interesting due to the fact that you're not going to need to spend quite a lot of time in it and automatically will upgrade the hero and we will consume some gold coins now if you're not going to stay into the game just place five heroes wait until you're going to be able to place five heroes and only afterwards exit the game please do so now after you're going to be able to place those five heroes you can exit you do want some heroes in the front and some heroes in the back i mean it, that's obviously so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have some tanks uh, you're going to see that you're going to have dwarves humans elves uh, different kind of classes like sorcerers archers uh, even assassins and so on so depending on the class depending on the team that you have decided depending on the strategy something like that you're going to see that you're going to be able to have a better and a better team depending on how far did you advance and obviously what kind of upgrades will you do quite a lot of items that you're going to be able to collect quite a lot of quests that you're going to be able to do over here and quite quite a huge discoverment journal so discovery journal my bad so what does this mean basically when you're going to be offline you're going to encounter in your endless dungeon quite quite a lot of things like for example shops and different kind of uh, npcs now here it is they're going to have a story they're going to ask you something and depending on what you're going to answer to them you're going to see that you're going to be able to get different kind of prices now over here if i'm going to buy something if not i'm just going to be able to hit close over here pandora's box let's see yes come on okay two that's good enough now uh, let's answer this one. Oh, this is a shop so my bad i'm going to close it and we're going to go back now if i'm going to go back over here in the inventory as you can see i have those red ones so here it is need to watch which one it will be more useful so for example two points over here is going to add up nine so definitely that's going to be even better for that specific hero so watch out 
to whom are you going to put that specific uh, trait over there now as i mentioned watch out for the equipment over here every time you're going to see that a specific equipment you will not need it just trash it and that's going to be even better and obviously it's going to be even faster now over here you're going to see that uh, after a while you're going to get stuck and your heroes will die eventually so you're going to need to reset your game progress and afterwards come back and so on so right now uh, over here items over here you're going to have the possibility to watch some ads in order for you to get some equipment boxes you can see basically the items will go in your backpack uh, but let's restart no i'm not going to restart i'm going to go over here and i'm going to try to show you over here the upgrades now guys over here you're going to be able to do the upgrades with the permanent uh, rebirth stones basically the time stones my bad so a magic stone with power beyond time and space that can permanently upgrade a hero it can be attained by rebirthing after receiving Kronos blessings Kronos blessing whatever now you're going to be able to do some upgrades over here and obviously depending on what you're going to upgrade is going to be even expensive and more and more and so on now watch out for this because guys uh, you're going to see that it's going to basically increase the amount that you're going to consume and obviously you do want different kind of skills over here and you do want the best of them now depending on which heroes are you going to put in your uh, in your deck basically you're going to be able to have and find a different kind of strategies now please you're going to need to watch out for that didn't play it that much but definitely it's an interesting game if you're into the dungeon games definitely give this game a try not so many things to manage regarding that part so definitely it will be an idle dungeon game that you do want to give it a try now you're not going to get so many idle rewards besides the equipment but that will do and definitely that's going to be let's say resourceful enough now you're going to have different kind of acts you're going to be able as i mentioned to put real money a lot of offers with uh, real cash uh, definitely a lot of things you're going to have the mailbox didn't open it over here as you can see you're going to be able to look out for the stats of your specific enemies and you can see which one is the weaker one and you're going to be able to change it from time to time you're going to find new and new heroes and you're going to be able to change the deck even though you have started playing with five heroes you are going to be able to change it after a while so please watch out what heroes are you going to get and afterwards change him if you do not like him so you're going to have the world map over here you're going to have the floor and the world map you're going to have pvp and the different kind of things you're going to be able to sell challenge a lot of things now over here you're going to have the map if you're going to go further and further obviously you're going to unlock new and new features over here and you're going to have the inventory over here and you're going to have these stones so can be attained by dismantling equipment used to upgrade equipment so keep that in mind every time you're going to go for a specific hero and you're going to have different kind of uh, let's say uh, uh, items on him you're going to be able to upgrade him now what you're going to want to upgrade is these ones over here because these ones are legendary so please watch out when you're going to see these ones to not dismantle them and try to collect as many as you can now guys if you have played it and reached further than me drop a comment let me know in the comments below don't forget to attach their stats so every time you're going to enter the game please don't forget about the stats they're definitely going to pile up quite a lot so the main idea every time you're going to come back into the game please put their stats upgrade their strength their dexterity over here as you can see their intelligence and also their vitality so that's definitely going to matter quite a lot now guys if you didn't play it please give this game a try if you're a fan of the dungeon games definitely interesting game uh, please drop some comments with other idle games that you do want me to make content about and until next time take care don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to smash that like button take care don't forget to restart upgrade your heroes easy please give this game a try take care bye